Okay. An interesting twist on the end of uh, Hot Right Now from DJ Fresh. We're listening to Don't Go from Menage a Scar. What is this all about to Mark Higgins from the band itself? Joins us on the line. G'day, mate. Good morning. How are you? Uh, going very well, mate. Now, um, this music, very foreign to my ears, very exotic. Uh, can you explain exactly what ska is as a genre of uh, the music world? Okay, uh, the genre of ska originated around to the 50s era. Okay. And it, it got big coming through Australia in more of the 80s with the second generation. Yep. Um, most recently we're in what's called the third generation now, which is bands like Real Big Fish and Mighty Mighty Boss Tones and a couple of things like that. Oh, I love the Mighty Mighty Boss Tones. Yeah, yeah. They're a Sky band as well, which had a couple of big hits, and Real Big Fish just visited Australia last year. Oh, the uh, impression that I get, that is an all-time classic of the 90s. So, so this music is, um, how would you say it's gone in terms of working its way into the mainstream? Of course, that hit from the Mighty Mighty Boss Stones certainly did. Um, but how hard is it to try and work your way through? Because so much of the mainstream music is very much formula, it's pop, it's soft rock, you know, that sort of thing. How do you guys go in terms of breaking in? Um, well, there's quite a big ska movement around, especially in Melbourne where we play mostly. Uh, there hasn't been a lot of mainstream coverage of the actual genre for a while, which is unfortunate because more people who know ska keep out for the new and upcoming ska bands, but non-listeners of ska haven't heard much for a while. So hopefully we're going to try and take that ska roots and then make it to something that everyone can sort of appreciate and maybe a little bit different so it can break back into sort of the public. Gotcha. Okay. So give me a bit of an idea, uh, as we've got a bit of uh, the Mighty Mighty Boss Stones playing in the background for us. So how would you describe Scar? If you had to describe it in ten words or less, what, what sort of music is it in terms of the way that it comes together? Well, it's mostly characterised by the horns in the background. It's very catchy, danceable music. Yes. Okay. It's, it's, the drums are quite different. It's an, up, it's an off-beat rhythm. Okay, and the drums is your domain. So tell us what you mean in terms of an offbeat rhythm. So Ringo Starr, the Beatles, uh, your absolute stock standard drummer, he's doing his thing. How are you different? Uh, give me a comparison between Ringo Starr and Mark Higgins, if you could. <laughs> well, uh, a standard rock beat would sort of just be like one and two and three and four, and where a ska beat is sort of like one and two and three and four and sort of on the off. Okay. Right. Now, I love the uh, title of your band in particular, Menage a Scar. Tell me, what are you playing with the words there? What what other uh, <laughs> phrase would it be that we're thinking of there? Menage a... What? <laughs> yes. All right, so um, big action, of course, uh, for you. You've got a massive gig coming up this Saturday night. What's it like, mate, when you are about to go and, I mean, you guys are an emerging talent within the Melbourne music scene and uh, hopefully spreading your wings nationally and coming here to Alice Springs, but when you are only 24 hours or so out from a big gig, every gig that you have is absolutely critical to keep propelling your reputation and your music, so what is it like, you know, the nerves, the anticipation, how do you deal with it? Well, this particular gig is the first one that we've actually organised ourselves and we're headlining. We've had another, We've been gigging for about a year now and most of them we've been actually opening for other bands. Okay. We've, we've managed to play a few big venues around Melbourne, including the Toast and the SC, which are fantastic. Mm. This is actually a Saturday night one, so it's a little bit different because we can sort of say who we want to play with, yeah. what time we sort of want to go on, but we're also playing the longest that we've ever played. We're playing an hour 15 set. Wow. So we're really keen to sort of get out there and play a few new songs which people haven't heard mm. and just keep the, the name out there in Melbourne so we can keep doing gigs and keep headlining them. Mate, that sounds absolutely excellent. Good on you for what you're doing. Keep pursuing the dream. And I tell you what, uh, if you can come up here to Alice Springs, I know we'll love what you offer and proffer. So good luck with the gig tomorrow night. And uh, we'll have to keep uh, catching up with you guys just to see and chart your success as you uh, develop as a band. Well, cer certainly. I mean, the next step for us is going to record something mm -hmm. in the next couple of months and then hopefully we'll be able to do a tour and promote that. Oh, fantastic stuff, Mark Higgins. Menage Scar. How can everyone uh, who's listening now get themselves into your music? Uh, Facebook, MySpace, how are we getting ourselves um, in touch? We have, a, we have a MySpace and a Facebook. Our Facebook's the most active, so yep. if you just type in Menage Scar, it'll come straight up. Menage Scar, indeed. Thank you very much for your time, my friend. That's okay. Thanks, Lachlan. Well played. Excellent Bye. stuff.